I said one time we were in we were in Utah at the Navajo place, mm-hmm. uh, Navajo reservation, and he was like, but he broke off a piece of grass. He's like, this is what we make this medicine out of, and I was like, oh, that smells like grass back home. Yeah. And Jay's like, no, it doesn't. Because it doesn't smell like suburban grass. It smells like wild grass in Oklahoma. Right. Like, like the grass. grass you would f- smell like out in a field somewhere. Like and I grass. Was like, <laughs> he was like, I mow the grass all the time. It's so much smells like. I'm like, not not the grass you buy at Home Depot. <laughs> I'm talking about wild grass in Oklahoma. Like. <sighs> the grass I grew up with. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was like, you're such a city boy. I'm like, you know the grass they cut sometimes by the highway? Wild grass. Even that's usually <laughs> sodding, so. Yes, typically it is. It's so funny. Like, what my dad has. That's... He just believes that the grass in your yard is the only grass that ever existed. <laughs> so dumb. It's like imported from other states. The cake is good. To oh. having 100 followers. 100 followers! To getting your first paycheck. Yay! To almost 100 subscribers on YouTube on the other channel. Yeah. Been a good week. Weird. Good job. But good. I'm going to start doing that. Just pick up pieces that have a big thing on it. Yeah, that's a smarter thing to do. Mm-hmm. Whenever I was looking for like the tiniest things, I'm like, why am I doing this? Mm-hmm. It's really dumb and a waste of time. And then I just kept doing it. Mm hmm. Everything helps. Okay. Every yes. piece in is a piece in. That's right. Why is there so many salt shakers? Oh. Why is there so many? Just question. Could you imagine doing this though? I mean, and having to figure out when the painting is finished. Yeah, he said just whenever it felt like it. Yeah. When it didn't feel like there was too many big holes. I think you got it right. I think so. Oh, a pencil sharpener. One of those old timey ones. Old timey. It's my day, but... (laughs) You'll use them. (laughs) Not electric. You'll use them for soft lead. Or you use them for eyeliner. I tried to show Corey how to use one and yeah. Went as expected. The new thing right now is the hole punch. Yeah. He likes punching holes. And then organizing the the hole punches into piles and counting them. The different colors. Because you know, you gotta get all different colors of construction to throw punch holes. (laughs) <laughs> you can make art out of it too. We used to do it at the daycare. Yeah. I've been saving it. It's being collected. But he made a. Well, me and him made Grandpa a whole tray of pizza and cookies yesterday. Oh. Out of Play Doh. And <laughs> we brought it into him. And Corey went, Oh, there's the red spider up in the corner. Or yeah, somewhere it's by this. Yeah. Oh, I was like, where, um, where is it? <laughs> but he goes into the living room and hands it to him, and he goes, Grandpa, it's fake. Don't really eat it. <laughs> We're just pretending. <laughs> There's a pet rock. I tried to get Corey, I'm still trying to get Corey to paint rocks, and he won't do it. He looked at me like I was crazy. I love that he's like, what the fuck? No. Rocks are beautiful the way they are. Why would I have ruined them? <laughs> you know what I thought of randomly the other day? About how we didn't get him seashells? Yeah. And I was like, we should, I should find him some like plastic seashells. <laughs> I would love that. Because he wanted yes, them so bad. The seashells are sitting in the kitchen on the kitchen table in his little... There's a tray on the kitchen table and it's sitting there. So that he doesn't have the urge to open them. So you that ruined, way mom You can, ruined it for him. Because I was like, yeah, seashells be... are great. And you were like, 
you will lose them and break them all. And he's like, I'm going to break them. I'm going to fucking prove you wrong. I will not touch those seashells. And I'm like, now it's not fun. Thanks, Mom. It's okay if he breaks the $3 worth of seashells. Jesus. They're his seashells. <laughs> It. But yeah, they are sitting in the kitchen so that mom I, and dad can keep an eye on him and know that he is not. I believe breaking he will them. never fucking touch those seashells. <laughs> no, no, when he's ten, remember? Oh my god, Jesus! That's what I'm saying. Maybe you should buy him some plastic seashells <laughs> and be like, these are the ones you're allowed to play with before you. All right, go for it. <laughs> that pink, that pink goes right there. I found the rest of my whatever that is. Shrimp? Prawn? Yeah, it's it's like shishi, sashimi. Sushi, sushi. I always sashimi. I always say sashimi because Sa I'm from Oklahoma, but it's sashimi. 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 Yeah, it's S A S H I M I. Okay. Yes. I'm gonna do a test. Oh yeah, you can move it. Oh, that I'm way. just trying to see what's not attached. Oh, this one and this one. Okay, good. That's pretty good progress. <laughs> I know it goes there. Yeah, yeah. This goes there. I was just seeing Not if I had anything more that I need to. I think I just need oh. to start filling in blanks. Oh, that was another thing I was going to tell you. You know how I've always said, uh, no. oh, God. punch it, Margaret. <laughs> you know how I've always said that? Just so happens a TikToker said it. And I was like, I have been saying that for years, but I don't know where it came from. And she responded. And said, oh, that comes from a 1989 Toyota Camry commercial. <laughs> it's usually commercials. Yeah. But 1989, so I was 19. That's it. Good grief. You're old. Okay. <laughs> it's a bendy straw, like you get in the hospital. The hospital it's straws. Not the first are bendy. place I would think of a bendy straw. Well, the white straws. I mean, that's the ones I get at the hospital every time I'm in the hospital. Yeah. We also had them at the daycare. Oh. I did not know you had daycare. Well, it's just when you think bendy straw, you usually <laughs> think children first, not hospital. No. Well, it wasn't something. I mean, I keep it staple now. Oh, it's like that. Oh, really? I always had bendy straws. When I moved out, I bought like this giant thing of bendy straws. Yeah. And I had them for like until we moved into the last house, I think. I think I had them at the last house. Oh. <laughs> and then I finally used them up at the last house. So like I had them for like a decade. That's funny. Like a package of bendy straws. I, I keep them now because of Corey, but because it's so much They're easier. Fun. Yeah. It's I, so much easier. Yeah, one of my first like alcoholic beverages I drink have bendy straws. <laughs> That's true, okay. I like to drink Dr. Pepper out of a bendy straw, too, because it puts more air into it, so it's more carbonated. Oh. It's very good. And how did that work for you? It's good. <laughs> Sometimes I miss that at drinking pop. I agree. Sometimes I I'm like, I wish, I wish that pops was still, like, as refreshing to me as it mm -hmm. was back then, because now it's like drinking corn syrup is what it yeah, feels like. Yeah, it's Pure so much sugar. sugar. Which, I mean, I know I drink, like, energy drinks, but that has no added sugar in it, it's just juice. It's different. But, like, sometimes I miss that feeling. Like a refreshing yes. pop. The now I just have is water. Is. Yeah, there was... That's why I like I quit, water. I would get these cravings for pop. And I would take one drink of your dad's pop, and I was like, done. Yeah, sometimes Ugh. I'll get Sprite. And I'll drink, like, a fourth of, like, a few of the Sprites, and then we'll just yeah. let them go bad. Yeah. Because, like, JD, for a while, was still getting Sprite, and I would try, I would drink some of it, and then just throw, throw it out. Oh. Which was so wasteful, and I hate it, because Pop, I'm kind of glad we stopped drinking Pop, because it's so expensive now. It is expensive. So I'm kind of glad that we got out of it when we did. Your sister drinks Pop and smokes, so. She's dumb. Spits it. She's not doing millennial correctly. <laughs> I know. We stopped doing that shit. I know. I don't expensive. think that she got the memo. Right. She didn't oh, that get the memo that we don't have money for that? But, I mean, I, I guess she didn't go to college, to be fair. Nope. She, well, she did. 
No. <laughs> but not. If she doesn't have $50,000 of debt, she didn't. Well, no, because she stopped whatever her money, before her money ran out, like, and like you. <laughs> I was going to get a degree. That's what I was told I, I needed. Not that it's earned me any more respect than I... Respect? No. Thought. You have to... That's different. I mean, I think I would have to be questioned constantly about my intelligence. Oh. You know. It's pretty sad that oh, I have in such, this day and age. I can't believe I forgot about this. So, the last, like, couple of weeks, I guess three weeks at this point, we had a major system break after yeah. an update made by Microsoft. And luckily, we have engineering people, so our, one of our apps guys was able to pinpoint the exact reason it broke. Nice! Very quickly. So, we are like, hey, we need this fixed on your end. You need to send us the program, recompile it, and send it back. Right. I, I created the support ticket, sent that to the support team. I was like, this is what we need. Right. They were like, we, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I was oh. like, okay, here is what, everything that we have, and right. this is the system that we set up. And, like, one of the apps guy was like, yeah, this is the way it was set up. Basically, he was like, yeah, what she said. And they're like, oh, we'll give you to one of our engineers. Oh I hate, my I hate gosh. working with these vendors. They are so fucking sexist. Oh. Um, I've had to talk to them on the phone before, and they treated me like it was an absolute moron to the point where I was like, I need to walk outside and scream. I need to what just walk away. What the heck? Um, anyway, so two weeks go by, and they go, hey, th on the ticket, they go, hey, we haven't heard from you in two weeks. I was like, we're waiting to hear from you. What are you talking about? And they're like, oh, it looks like he sent out an email. I was like, he only sent out the email to our director and the apps guy. He didn't send it to me, the person who opened the ticket. So I immediately replied, I was like, oh, yeah, I wasn't on that. So here, let's schedule that for tomorrow because this needs to be <laughs> done because the system's not working. Yeah. So he schedules the meeting and I get in there and like the apps guy showing him exactly in the code where it's broke, which is totally fine. So follow-up stuff happens he's like oh here's the new thing he sends the apps guy he doesn't send, he doesn't include me what the person the who's, so the ask guy sends it to me he's like here you go here's <laughs> the thing can you implement it and i was like yeah let me get in there so i get it set up it's not working so i emailed him back i'm like hey this is still not working here's your error code we're getting they email the apps guy and tell him to try that so he sends it to me this is all taking a lot longer because they just won't email me and and so he goes did anybody notice this and besides I was, you no, of course not. And then he goes, um, I, I want to talk to my director about it because we fucking pay these people. Yeah. That's what pisses me off. Right. And I this mean... took two weeks longer because he emailed the other two and the other two thought I was on that email. So they were waiting for me to schedule it. But I had no idea it happened because he emailed the two busiest people in the department. The manager of apps and our director instead of the system admin. Good grief. Anyway. So finally, I was like, oh, that's the piece we're missing. You didn't tell us there was this this step that we need to do. I did it. I was like, yep, that worked perfect. Case closed. <laughs> Literally two days with including me in the emails, it got done. Oh, my god. So gosh. it could have been done three weeks earlier if right. they had just not been misogynists. Good grief. This is so fucking pissed off. I, you would think in this day and age that that wouldn't happen anymore. Dude, <gasps> I don't know. That company is, it's like they hire fucking assholes. They're stitches. Like, anytime I would talk in that meeting, too, he just ignored me. I hate that. So, we were, um, Dad wanted me to find a contractor for, to do the concrete. So, I had called three companies, because I told him, let's just use who your brother used. Yeah. You know, we know that they do a good job, and... Well, Amber had told us that she was going to get her some concrete work done, and hers turned out really good. So, I called them and I called, like, two other companies. One of them came out and barely met with me. The This concrete company that we went with came out, talked to me. Corey came out and talked to him. I mean, nicest guy. And answered all my questions. Yeah. And even added in stuff that I wouldn't even have thought about. And uh, then he sat down and showed me everything. And I am a, you know, see it kind of person. But showed me everything. Do you know where stitches are? No. Okay. Um, and 
walked me through everything. I was like, I really like this guy. I got a good vibe from him, you know, and he talked to me like a human being instead of what guys do. Like you're an idiot and don't know the sky is blue. The third guy comes out and didn't even hardly talk to me. He came to the door. I went to shake his hand and he squeezed so tight. And, you know, usually I give a good squeeze because women have to give a firm handshake. And it's the only good thing that COVID he did. He, like, get rid of really squeezed hard. And I was like, okay, get it, dude. Um, and then he was like, okay, well, I'm, you, I showed him what we wanted. And he goes, okay, I got it. It's like, okay. And so he goes, I'll email you the estimate. And like, Corey yeah. would not come outside for him. Would not. Wouldn't acknowledge he was there. Wouldn't even get off the couch. We had, we had. So I was like, okay. We had air conditioner guys come out. And they were talking to JD and I pulled up. Like I got off work yeah. and I pulled up while they were talking. So I just joined the conversation. Right. But they kept looking at me like, you can go inside, essentially. Uh, and then I would ask questions because JD was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That right. sounds good. And I was like, no, no. I want to know this and this. Yes. And I was like, you can't even ballpark this. You can't give us any kind mm-hmm. of estimate. He's like, no. I was like, okay, have a nice day. And I basically dismissed them who went inside. Yeah. I was like, I'm the one paying for it. Exactly. So you can either talk to me or you can get the oh. fuck off my property. <laughs> like, no. I hate that. Like, just because he's a man doesn't mean shit. He ain't got money. Well, and then I was telling your dad, you know, hey, I want to go with these guys because, you know, they talk to me like I'm a human being and not a woman. And uh, he was like, whatever. And I said, no, seriously. So, uh, yeah, no, guys don't get it unless it's like right there in front of their face. And even when it is, they still don't get it. It pisses me off because I'm like, did you not see him being a jerk? And they're like, huh, like, okay. I'm, I I feel bad for all the women in your life because you are not defending them either if you're not seeing this very blatant misogyny. Well, I went over and asked, or I uh, got with Amber and asked her about, you know, what she thought because it was the same company. It wound up being the same company yeah. that I was thinking about going with. And, you know, I asked what she thought. and She goes, you know, they were the only ones that actually acknowledged me and talked to me like I was you know, a breathing person and because not just an idiot. Yeah. And I was like, Oh my gosh, that's what I came across too. So I was telling your dad and then, um, they came out, the guy's the nicest guy. And the guy came out so that your dad could talk to him and show him things and, you know, discuss where we want stuff and how we want it done. And, and, uh, I asked your dad, I was like, so, what do you think? And he goes, I don't know, I guess. I was like, okay. It's crazy, too, because so I don't then, think... the guys come out to spray yesterday, and he pops off with something. And I was like, he goes, you heard that? And I said, yeah, I heard that. Why? Why? Dad did? Yeah. Uh, I was I like, why? Know. Why would you... To be cool, I guess, because and the guys treating are sh- women like shit is cool, apparently. So the there's a younger brother. It's a family-owned business here in town. But there's a younger brother, definitely. He has to be in his 20s. Um, but he calls me ma'am. And it's just a sign of respect. If you yeah. don't know somebody and they're elder, well, then you call them ma'am. And it's refreshing to hear people that... You know, it just, just is. I mean, I don't know. I hate it. It makes me feel old. I, you know, I don't No, I'm not. There's making, certain well, situations. Yeah. yeah. My if director you know. stumbling over not just saying good job, guys, and, <laughs> and lady. I'm like, okay. So forced is worse. <laughs> well, that's true. Who knows? But yeah, I I don't appreciate. It's crazy too because like women talk, talk to, to each other. Yes. So like if you treat them decently, they're gonna recommend to all their women friends. Yeah. And it's not like we have a lot, but I'm just saying like. No, but I mean in we general. Do talk. In general, women are like, oh, this guy wasn't a complete asshole, and I felt safe mm-hmm. within my house. Well, she had five contractors 
come out and give her estimates. And this one was the only one who acknowledged her as, you know... Women are 50% of the population. You hate 50% yeah. of the population. I mean, I hate all well, of the population. Well, they just talk down to you. Like, you don't Like, know... you couldn't understand the right. concept of, right. like, offense. Yes. <laughs> like, or you just don't what understand concrete is what or... <laughs> level means. You don't know. You don't get it. Ah, oh, those contracts. And I also told the guy, I said, you know, we've had some really bad luck with contractors. So, I'm just letting you know right now that you know it's we've had some really bad luck so mm -hmm. don't get upset with us because we're going to be you know really paying attention to everything and i said i'm going to be att paying attention more because i just we really had some bad luck with contractors he was over. Like, i am so sorry he said i will be here every single day if you have any questions here's my phone number just text me or call me anytime day or night i was like Okay. Um, and he I, has. I, every time that actually, I've had a problem, I've texted him and it's immediately. That's people who actually enjoy what they do. Yeah. And not in the field because it's a man's job. You right. know what I mean? And he's been doing it since his father. So, I mean, I kind of trust him a little bit more. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if I should, but we'll find out. But they did a good job, so, on... That's how it really matters. Yeah. And that they treat you like a human being. Yes. Okay. I don't know why that's thing, so hard. That's the like thing the is, bare is like minimum. They are working for you. You yeah. are their, you're, they're your employees right. at that point. You're paying them to do the work. I'm not saying that means you, they, you, they're like indentured servants. Well, no, but, but I mean, they if can treat you like a person. Then they have to, you know. They should treat you like a human, yeah. Because With word respect. of mouth is everything. And especially like small businesses. Yes. I think this is why I prefer small businesses. Because there's still people. I do too. Not people just getting paid tests. Well, and small businesses around us. I mean, I just, I would prefer somebody that's here. Yeah. I need different pieces. Because I don't buy them anymore. <laughs> I understand that. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's been, we'll see how it goes, but your dad has added way more than what I intended on getting. Way more. That's price there. It is hard though, whenever you're going to have some, you're like, oh, just can you do this also? <laughs> Why are you here? Well, and he suggested a few things and I was like, oh, I wouldn't have even thought of that, you know? And I was like, oh yeah, okay, we'll do that too then. And. I mean, and every time that we've added, because we've added three times now, <laughs> we've added stuff, which they haven't started tearing out or pouring or anything. They started tearing out today, but... Yeah, um, before work started. Yeah. But yeah, whenever they were painting, even yesterday, I mean, we changed a couple of things. And then after they painted, I had your dad go out with me. I was like, don't you think this? And didn't he say this? And he was like, okay, I'll tell him in the morning. Okay. Well, and like, I mean, I'm sure they expect that a lot now. Yeah. It's like things in your mind, you don't really know how they're going to look on the house or something right. until it's done. And then you're like, eh, it's The only bit. thing I'm concerned. As long as it's not like a huge change difference yeah. without like added money. The only thing I'm concerned about is that we're putting concrete up against the house. So if we do have to get any piers on that side, it's going to be a problem. That's the only thing I'm concerned about. You can but place concrete. Right. You know, if we have to do that later on. I wish I was it, like but... those girls on TikTok who just like do it themselves. I do too. It's so... I am so not that person, but I, I do I don't mean, a lot of times I spend a lot of my... I spend a lot of my energy to exist on work, unfortunately. Making other people money. Which is unfortunate, but... I don't have the ability anymore to do that. Well, right. There's but a difference. I wish I could. Reasons. But I'm just saying, like, yes. I wish I didn't waste all of my life at work. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, even the, having these last couple days, it's been so nice to be able to, like, watch a show, then come in here, edit a couple videos, then play video mm -hmm. games, and then go out and play with the dogs. It's like, God, I wish I could do, like, this all the time. Well, and that's why I suggested also that maybe we do 
every other week. And I know that I know that mm. this is not what you were talking about. You're talking about work, yeah. but it's it's pretty draining whenever you're doing something every single week with no break. I just need big breaks. Yeah. It's just I wanted to get through June. Yeah. And then I really yeah, wanted to do these two puzzles. Yeah. I kept pushing it. Yeah. That last one with you. Yeah, you were. I really wanted to do the puzzle. Huh? I know. And I did too. And it was fun. And it was fun. And this one is so much fun too. It's harder than the last one. It's way harder. <laughs> but it's harder than every puzzle we've done. But we're gearing up. I we're gearing think up for the next puzzle. Than every puzzle. No, no, in the last like few months. Oh yeah, 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 yeah definitely. <laughs> Not than every. <laughs> I'm just pulling pieces in front of me and trying to yeah. put them in at this point. Yeah. Well, I was too, but I kept pulling the same ones, and I'm like, I don't like you. She loves your grandma. Last night I was like, if you just go to bed, grandma will be here in the morning. <laughs> so why don't you just go to sleep? And she crawled in, under the blanket and went to bed. Aww. Like, Thank God. It's like <laughs> it works for Corey three, too. <laughs> three in the morning at that point. It works for Corey too. I've gotten Shady to start uh, barking on command. Unfortunately, oh, her no. bark is so ungodly loud yeah. that it can like damage your eardrums. Oh, I don't know that that was a good idea. But it's so cute! <laughs> I love it. I love it and I shouldn't, but it's so cute. I like it when they were all barking together. It's great. We bark as a family. Um, unless we're recording. Well, yeah, I wouldn't do it right now. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, you like it unless we're recording. And then you're... Until I have no hearing in my right ear. And then I'm like, okay, maybe that was a bad idea. JD just looked at me like I was a psychopath yesterday whenever I got her to do it. <laughs> He's like, she's stressed. I'm like, she's wagging her tail. She's fine. She's fine. She's happy. She's wagging with the... She's barking with the girls. Hi, JD. I think it was always supposed to get into the 80s today. Not near as bad as it's been. Although, we had uh, pretty good rain. Uh, was that yesterday? Yeah. Yesterday morning, it cooled everything off. It was humid, but it was... The other day, Lily went outside. So he came back in, but Lily just stayed out there for like an hour. <laughs> Sunbathing. Oh. <laughs> the heat. She loves it. She's like me. Corey and I are about the same on heat. When I'm hot, heat tends to be hot. These grapes are good. They're a good idea. It's good, man. I go through cycles on grapes. I do that with all food. Because I'll get a bad one, so I'll be off grapes for a long time. Cycle my pieces like you did. Yeah, we'll just, it helps. We'll go, we'll go around in a <laughs> yeah, circle until it helps. figure out everything is. Some of these pieces I've had all day. Yeah, it. and it helps to kind of get them away from me. What we end up usually doing at the end when we're like, why haven't we done this all day? Because <laughs> we're done. Well, you know, it is what it is, what it is. Have you suggested any this time around for the yeah, a few tiny times. things? What'd you suggest? Ivy. Ivy? Oh, That'd that's be really a good cool. One. Um, he recently did. What did he do? Oh, little bits of like corn, and oh. he put one next to the mouse, but the mouse wasn't eating one. So I suggested <laughs> a hamster with corn in its, its cheeks. <laughs> so that'd be cute. I generally get to those too late to really suggest anything, but I kind of don't like it because then I get a bunch of notifications of people liking my thing. And I have to oh, let them mute it. yeah. I. I have had that problem in the past, but yeah, I understand. I know the guy that I had I had posted a thing and he replied to me that he's a really yeah. famous guy, and I kept getting people liking it. Like <laughs> months later, he finally posted a new video, and I was like, "Thank God, <laughs> people will get that one now." 